Welcome to all you SaaS users. Here we are again. I'm Allison, that's Al, and we're here with another fantastic SaaS update for everybody. Another new, another original feature that we think you're all going to be very impressed with. So um, without further ado, well, before I hand it over to Al, I will say this is for the mobile app. So both the iOS and Android app, the supplies on phones and on tablets. So for all you mobile users, definitely want to stick around and hear about this amazing new feature. So Al, talk about this amazing feature. Hi folks. So what it is, we've added in to, so we use the share menu on mobile devices. So like with the Chrome extension, you can select text and right click to do a SAS search. You can now do the equivalent on the mobile. So as well as being able to like scan barcodes or enter text, we've sort of connected up to the share menu. The easiest way is for me to actually demonstrate this. So I'm just going to go to the Argos website on my phone. And funnily enough, there's a product that we've got selected. So I just select the text on, on Argos. And you can see you've got the share menu that comes up. Tapping on that, Gives you a list of all I think places you can normally share to. So you've got your most popular contacts, obviously wife's first than mine. Then so I can, can airdrop it, got messages every night. But so I move the scroll along the apps at the bottom here, you'll see we have SAS in the list. So if I just tap on SAS, that takes us back to SAS and it's searching for the selected text from my boss. Wow, that's fantastic. Then you can that's it. It's normal SaaS, you can check your prices, go into like full, full SaaS analysis. Like, so you don't need to like type, type in the text, do a copy and paste something like that. So it really is like when you use the extension and you're able to right click and, and SaaS the, the text that you've, you've selected. I mean, it really is that same functionality on the mobile device, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So any, any mobile app, that utilizes the share menu, you can now access SAS from it. So I go, I go back to those, so that's your website, my screen sharing. So here's like a, a test email one, let's say this. So this is just in sort of your Google email. So with this, we've got set up a barcode. We can select the barcode, select share. I see it's not first up the moment. So what you can do, if I go to the end of the, of the shares, click on the more, we can now edit the sort of share menu. So top right to edit it. And what I will do, I will add SAS to my favorites. I'll move, I'll move SAS to the top layer. Just click done and click done again. So if I go back into my email, then just tap and hold, share comes up, click share. There's SAS straight after airdrop. Okay. Tap that. I mean, I'm going to be tapping lots of barcodes that we just had selected. Okay, so, perfect. And this works the same in the Android version as well, correct? Yeah, like the, the interface is slightly different in Android, but it, it is the same where the share menu comes up and you can. So that is fantastic. So, um, you know, like I said, it's like having the extension functionality, but in your hands. So now uh, when you're when you're mobile with your mobile, you can literally be reading something, um, copy the barcode or copy the, the EAN, um, copy some text, hit, hit the share option like Al, Al just did, and boom, it will open SAS um, with the choices for that product. I think it's important to point out, just like your search on your in the web app or in the extension, it's going to conduct a search if it has questions and can't come up with the exact product, it will give you the list of choices just if yeah. you're used to. If, if you search for um, an ASIN or a barcode, it'll most likely just go straight to the straight to the um, actual one product. But say you're looking for like just plain text, like what I'll do, I'll do this baby baby Yoda figure, do share from glass. So that, then it will just like show you, yeah, it's just like doing a standard search. Yeah. Like yeah. what we're finding it's really useful for, if you're using another app that has ASINs, like Seller Toolkit, you can go on, your, on like as Seller Toolkit, it's a web app, 
you can go straight on your mobile, you can go straight from an asset in Seller Toolkit to, to it, analyzing it in SAS. If you're doing this on an, an iPad, it works with multitasking. So you can have more than one window open. So you can have like your SAS on one side, you could have Seller Toolkit on the other side, or you could have like Amazon Page or a site that you're actually sourcing from. Now, you've also tested it with Google Sheets. So if you've got an ass in, in Google Sheets, you can then be looking at the SAS, the SAS analysis at the same time as your Google Sheets is open. So there's all sorts of different ways you can use it. Yeah, and I think um, we've got a, we've got a quick video on how to use the the multitasking in the iPad. So I'll put that link in uh, below here, so you can just make sure you know how to use that. So you can literally get um, your SaaS mobile app up next to any other site um, that you'd like. Magically, my phone has turned into my iPad. So this is how we can use this on, on the iPad. So again. Select the ass in, sorry, a tap and, a tap and hold for the share menu. Brings up SAS, tap it away. So it's loading it straight from Seller Tool, Tool Gate into SAS. What we can do, if I just bring the current window back in, dock it on the side. So now we can see. You've got, your, you've got Seller Toolkit, you've got SAS sort of side by side. If I go to a, a different website, so you can actually, so you can actually see, so you can be doing Keeper next to SAS if you wanted to. If you wanted to open the Amazon page, you can just sort of drag the Amazon page over and I'll load the Amazon page like that. If I want to search Google for the title, you could just drag the Google over and sort of search that way. Wow. And see, go to get this product on eBay. Look, those, this is, those this, that this weren't is paying attention, this is all on an iPad. This is not on a computer screen, everybody. This is just all sort of on the fly. Let's see if it's got a barcode. And so yeah, here you end there. So I'll do a share. Sass that. Okay, wow. it's, the same, it's the same product. I should, I should have gone to a different product, really. So let's, let's have a look at these takeaway food containers. This time I would just do it with the title. Certainly it's a little bit a little bit more fidgety trying to um, copy things with your finger than with your mouse. Yeah, I must not I've got to use the extension of the mouse. How we use it. Um, What, we're gonna, what we'll find is like you're going to find different ways of using this. Like yeah. the flexibility is yeah. there. Yeah, it's it's a fantastic. It's it's a very very logical step. And again, this is a SaaS original, everybody. So you might see it out there in the future. Guess what? You saw it here first. So um, there's really the objective here, as you know, Al is always trying to to take in suggestions and and make the product more useful. Um, more functional for the things that you do on a daily basis. Uh, it is just being able to do that analysis that much faster. Having SAS next to um, your source, next to Amazon, next to um, STK, like he just showed you, um, even next to say your spreadsheet that you want to export to in SAS. You know, there's a number of different uses that you can use this for again on the iPad, on the mobile app. I think it's pretty self-explanatory when you're out combing, combing the world, combing the retail world and doing your retail arbitrage. Or if you're just out, out and about and you do get an idea and you want to do a quick analysis, it just makes it so simple using this uh, share function. Out. Find more, more and more uses. I was just going to say that. Yeah, I think I think our users are going to come back to us. And if you're watching this video and you've already thought of some ideas, definitely let us know because we'd love to um, help share with others how um, to use this functionality, um, how to use this sharing functionality, because it is, it's a really big uh, improvement for sure, or a really big addition, I should say, for sure. Yeah, right. so yeah. this the search on mobile now, you can either use, so scan the barcode with the camera, you can use a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth barcode scanner, you can use a text search with a virtual keyboard. We've also made it compatible with the physical Bluetooth keyboards. And now we can 
right up or hold wow. and hold and share it. So what's that like five different ways? Five different ways to use the mobile app to to conduct your analysis. So it is it is definitely well beyond just scanning a barcode, isn't it, everybody? Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Al. And thank you to all you viewers out there. Certainly um, message us here if you have any questions or uh, send us a note at support at selleramp.com. Happy to answer any questions at any, any time. That is it for now. Um, Al, any parting words? Happy sourcing. Happy sourcing, everybody. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.